every single son and daughter of Adam sins. It's called total depravity. People aren't good by nature. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Total depravity means that every son and daughter of Adam that's ever lived in this earth is worthy of hell. There is nothing good in you. There is no righteousness. There is no merit in you. Your only hope is that the Lord your God has chosen you and has loved you and has forgiven your multitude of sins. A main difference between God's elect and the reprobate is a sincere, heart-gripping shame for your sins. God's elect mourn for their sins. They are ashamed of them and they repent of them. Repenting is not simply saying, I'm sorry. It is not the perverted Catholic confessional. Repenting carries with it the idea that you change your mind and your heart about that conduct. You act as Job did and you eschew evil. You get the heck away from whatever that conduct was. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and He shall lift you up. Your doomed generation has the opposite reaction to your sin. First, you don't even call it sin. You call being a fag an innocent alternate lifestyle. You call murdering your baby being pro-choice. You call sloughing off the wife of your youth having irreconcilable differences. You sin away your day and wipe your mouth and say, I have done no wickedness. In seconds, you are proud of that conduct. Gay pride parades, same-sex marriages, slut walks, nambla marches. Are you kidding me? Were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. The people of this world mourn for dead soldiers. The people of this world mourn for their children killed in shootings. The people of this world mourn for the victims of natural disasters. The people of this world should be mourning for their sins. They should be mourning for the fact that they have completely forgotten God. They hate His standards and that they attempt to hurt His prophets near. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. This is not referring to your show of grief when your family members die. These so-called funerals are really contests to see who can put on a bigger show of how sad they are. The people of this world should be mourning for their sins. Upon your bed, when you're all alone, that you are grieved by what you have done, that you have gone against God's standards, and that you desire to serve Him with all of your heart. Mourn for your sins.